here I have about a cup of lentils. You don't need to soak them, but you do want to give them a quick little rinse just to clean any debris that might have been with them or in the package. And in a pot, you want to fill it with enough water to cover it. For my pot, that was about three cups. Turn it to high until it starts to boil. And then you can turn it down to about medium for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'd say check it in 15 minutes to see if they're thoroughly cooked. After letting it cool for a little while, put in a strainer to get out some of the water. Now it's time to add a ripe banana and smash, smash, smash. For this next step, you can choose either an egg replacer or chickpea flour. They both have different consistencies at the end, so it's up to you. Test it out. Maybe one time you can do the egg replacer and the next time you can do chickpea flour. The egg replacer has potato starch, tapioca flour, baking soda, and psyllium husk fiber. Hopefully I said that right. I decided to go with about five tablespoons of chickpea flour and then about two of the egg replacer. See the consistency? Now we're going to add in a little bit of ground cumin, salt, thyme, paprika, and a little bit of black pepper. All right, this is looking more like it. If you use the green lentils instead, then it'll look even darker. So now I've shaped them into little patties and I'm grilling them.